Hello friends, welcome to bspdrainings.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to tell you how to do web scr scrapping with R or using R. So let's understand what do we mean by web scrapping. Sometimes the data which we required is available on a web page, but the data is not in the format which is which can be easily downloaded. So that's where the web scrapping comes into the picture and this is a most general purpose computer language have a library for easily collecting data from an HTML page. So there are other there are many languages which can download the data from a web page. We can extract the data from a website or from a web page and can display the output. Similar way R can be do same. So R can also be capable of for doing the web scrapping from a web page. So let's understand the requirement first of all. So I'm going to web scrap. I'm going to do the scrapping from the BSP trainings website. And in BSP trainings website, we have a training schedule calendar. And in this training schedule calendar, we can have a look at what are the ongoing trainings are there, what are the trainings are going on and everything so i would like to extract the data of a specific field for example my requirement is i would like to see that what are the trainings going on and what are their names what are the names of the trainings so this information i would like to web scrap through r so let's see how to write a code in r programming to do the web scrapping from this particular bsp trainings website so for doing this, I'll open our studio. I'm using our studio. And I'll just make it blank, create a new script. And here we need to install a package named as our best. So we can install dot packages named as our best. And once the package will be installed, we can simply set the library as library as our best. And I run it and make sure that the library is set. So you can see it has been loaded successfully. It means that this RVest package has been successfully installed. Then I create BSP web page or BSP web, yeah, BSP web page and html and i copy the link I copy this link and paste it here fuel.php double quotes this will be double quotes and i run this code so it will connect and it will get list of pages so there are two lists there are two pages psv web pages from this training schedule so there are two web pages are there so it extra it downloaded the all the two pages details from all the two pages then i run test html html underscore nodes and here i pass html page comma here we need to pass the node which we want to read so from this web page from this uh, from this training schedule web page i would like to list all the courses on which we are going to conduct training so in order to get the course name the node name right click on the course name and click on inspect element and as soon as i click on inspect element you can see uh, when i take my pointer on course name course app hana a dot course on the left side you can see a dot course is coming so basically a dot a dot course is the name of this particular column so here I specify a dot course and run it HT okay sorry it should be BISP web page not the HTML web page run it. and you see list of 32 so in test HTML we have got a list of 32 names so the course has been loaded and now I would like to extract the text from them so that's the node as has been extracted. I would like to extract the text from them. So I create training or course name, course name, 
एच टी एम एल एच टी एम एल अंडर स्कोर टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम टेस्ट एच टी एम एल एंड रन इट द कोर्स नेम एंड अ सिंपल डिस्प्ले कोर्स नेम रन इट एंड इट लिस्ट ऑल द कोर्स नेम सो इफ आई शो यू हियर इट स्टार्ट विद सैप है ना स्टार्ट विद सैप है ना हियर एंड एंड विद वेब लॉजिक सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन it ends with web logic server administration apart from this so this displays in a in a separate line in a tabular format so if i want to display in a particular text so i use simple paste function paste and course name comma collapse is equal to this back and when i run it it displays all the data in all in a single line of text sap hana and at the end is web logic server administration so that's how that's the way so easily we can do the web scraping from a web page similar way if we only wanted to know the class that whether it's a regular class or demo class if you only want to list it we again right click on it inspect it and it is so when i take my regular and also it is font so i simply pass their font so in only thing is we need to pass the name of the course name of this particular uh, node so that's all in this video i believe you found this video interesting and this will help you to do the web scraping from a web page you can perform the web scraping on various web pages only thing is you need to take care of the node you need to get the nodes and you you need to pass the node into this particular html underscore nodes function that's all in this video if you want to get more videos about our programming if you want to hear more from us you can subscribe our youtube channel keep watching have a nice day goodbye